So I'll talk for a second about TOMLs. So, um, so this is a TOML for a task that I ran last night, as you can tell by the date. Um, so the TOML file isn't really like, especially, it's not like some esoteric mysterious file format. Um, it's actually just a text file. So you can open it in Notepad uh, and then read like what these different settings are that we use. There's a lot of them, uh, but like, for example, if you wanted to you know, change the PPM tolerance for quantification, you can make that 10 or whatever. So um, what's really, I think, mo really useful about this is you can pass um, like how you ran a task to someone else, which is really good for reproducibility. Like if you publish something, it's really important that they be able to recreate your experiments. So you can just pass you know, these small TOMLs and then obviously the raw data and databases and things, and you can, you can recreate or run a metamorphosis pretty easily. You can just put via drag and drop that creates a task. Yeah, the the TOML files are for each search task are created like once you say like add task and like you start the run, then it saves those. So all the parameters that you set in the GUI are then saved to that TOML file. Yeah, so just there's no tasks. You can drag and drop search task created and it's the same settings. So uh, yeah, like Rachel said, when you create, when you click a run, uh, it'll create this folder task settings. Another option, if you don't want to run it, you can right click and click save as TOML and it'll give you a path. You can uh, save it wherever you want. Um, let's see. So typically, so there's also a command line version of Metamorphosis that I'll show you in a second. Uh, you can create uh, TOMLs with the command line, but personally, I would recommend if you if you have a Windows machine, I would recommend that you create uh, the TOML via via GUI and then save as, and then use that TOML in the command line, because you know editing these TOMLs, you can break stuff. Like if I made this decoy type to be like 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 something else, like Metamorpheus would not run properly. <laughs> because that's not a valid like decoy name. So just to make sure you're doing stuff right, I think it's usually better to make stuff in the GUI and then transport that to the command line world. Um, to use the command line, let me just go to 